Okay. I'm Austin Kane. Uh, I'm the tag holder for this goat hunt. I'm 24 years old. It's mind blowing that we're here. June 14th this year, um, drawing results for Washington State came out. I was expecting to draw maybe a deer tag, quality deer tag. Had quite a few points. Had uh, 15 for goat, sheep, moose. Never thought in my life I'd actually be the tag holder and draw one of those. I've been hunting ever since I was six. Harvested my first deer at six. Fell in love with it right away and haven't stopped since. A little bit of family history uh, has goats. My great grandpa that I'm actually named after uh, has killed a couple goats. My great uncle, Uncle Bud, he's killed a goat. So my dad always wanted to kill a goat, kind of keep the family tradition going. been in here half a dozen times scouting or so and as you can see in the background there's goats right behind us lots of billies lots of options so I'm pumped super thankful I uh, can't be more excited that it's finally here it doesn't even feel real so we'll see what the day brings Just did our first little glassing session just down the trail from camp. I've uh, been watching a few goats over there all summer. Good news is they're still there. Uh, our target goat, I believe, is still there. He's been solo all summer, uh, but now he's with two other billies and another one down a little lower all by itself. So pretty sure it's him, a little windy, spotter's a little shaky. So hopefully we can confirm when the wind dies down a little bit either this evening or tomorrow. So we'll see if it's him. Gotta figure out a way either to go up this mountain around back down or all the way back down the trail and up that ridge and figure out a way to kill them if that's the one we decide to take. But there's several other to look at, so time will tell. Lots of options. See, I don't get it. What the hell's he eating? Rocks. Looks like it. spot than where he's been all summer not super mad about it the only only slightly disappointing factor is he's in a very killable spot for tomorrow morning which is opening day and I really don't want it to be over opening day so might just let him sit cover some more ground 
maybe come up with some more options. Getting some great video of them all right now, so we can lay them all out. Maybe tomorrow night have a discussion and figure out what we want to do from there. But it's looking very, very promising. super early got up here it's the first day we're able to go on the mountain so it's been an awesome experience so far came up a pretty cool shoot um, climbed some rocks lots of rocks and now we're up here within range of goats uh, we have a couple different groups within range of group of nannies and kids I believe right over this knob here on this little bench and we have two billies bed behind us but they look pretty young still so we're gonna get up a little higher where we think we could cross this pretty nasty canyon uh, just to the north and then we're going to just side hill back towards a bunch of billies we saw this morning get a closer look at all of them and hopefully come up with the right one and make a hunt on them and hopefully be a done deal we'll see
some pretty awesome stuff around the day. I grew up a lot of people saying, oh, this is humanly impossible and it's just steep or a little cliffy and it's definitely humanly impossible, but I think today we're kind of on the verge in some of these spots without having climbing gear. So it's an amazing experience. Not a lot of people get to come up here on this mountain off trails and it's just absolutely gorgeous. God's country and some of these canyons, man, really, really push the limits. Got to take it slow and actually think about where you're stepping and rocks rolling and where your teammates are, um, group members and hunting buddies and family. And really got to be careful where you step in case something breaks loose and get some speed because it gets speed quick here. Right now we're just heading down this canyon. Just came down some cliffs there. I'm gonna go down the draw and attempt to go up this little ridge. Once you go up this ridge, we've seen several, several billies over there this morning and we should be right close to shooting range on our way back. And we're just gonna take it slow and glass them, put a spotter on them all and hopefully make a decision and find the one, but we'll see, time will tell. Think about them. I think he's nice, but not quite the one. found our number one I'm pretty sure it's still five ish hundred yards away but if it's not it might be our really nice one now. yeah yeah it's 435 right now it's 435 making a move we're gonna make a move he's in range but we're gonna get in nice and tight make sure it's the goat we want it's opening day weather's nice there's six other billies here so we're gonna go get in, like I said, nice and tight, close, a couple hundred yards, put the spot on him, make sure he's the one, and then uh, let it happen. So, pretty excited, a little nervous. <laughs> hopefully everything plays out how it's supposed to, and Here we hopefully go. he doesn't roll 300, 400 yards and bust himself up, so we'll see.
Yeah. Oh my God, right in the sh behind the shoulder. No, take your time, take your time, take right. your time. Dump them. Stop. Stop. Yes. Yes. No, no, yes. Hold on, hold on. Oh. How far back did I hit the first one? It was perfect. Shit. Oh, it was? Yeah, oh. it's right in the crease. It might have been just the shock. I don't know. You gotta stop right here. Because I shot him in the neck the second time. Hold on. Right there, there. right there, that's it. <laughs> that was sick, dude. <laughs> that was sick, dude. <laughs> Come here, brother. Congratulations. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even believe that just happened. My right ear is just... I have not shook like that in so long. I was squeezing and I'm just like, stop, stop. Stop. this? <laughs> oh, he was so hammered. Yeah, see the hole? Right this, yeah. Behind the shoulder. And you just shot nope, way too fast. Take right your time. There. Take your time. He almost hit his head. Just. Yeah. Well, you guys, you, someone said I hit back and so I put it by his head. I did, because I seen. It's fine. Yeah, no, it, you were just you were just jacked up. Hopefully, I didn't hit him in the horn. No, you didn't. It, you, I, we got it. You went right over. No. Get it. It's rolling. Fuck yeah, dude! Go down, baby. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> I say we go to it. Oh, that dude, dude. Yeah, low jitters. <laughs> Kill the goat, it's done. Day one, couldn't stay off the trigger. <laughs> Been watching them all summer. Have names for a few of them and really like the look of a couple of them. We got within range. We had four nice billies within 300. Of course, the one we decided to shoot was at 300. Um, closest one was 148, I believe. And uh, sat there, judged them. They're all bedded. The top one was bedded broadside, so we decided to Get her done right there, and yeah, still a little shaken up. <laughs> Haven't had that feeling in a while. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've been that nervous or something. So oh. we'll see. Appreciate you guys being here. It's awesome.
Well, it's over already. Time to head out. Packs are a little heavier than I was anticipating for the way out. Uh, got it done day one. We're packed for several days. So we got all of our gear, all of our food for the most part. And now a goat to add to it. So uh, got about six-ish miles out uh, downhill and then pretty good shot uphill to the truck. It's been awesome. Uh, everything played out as I was hoping it would. Uh, day one was the clear day, the best day of weather, at least for the first few days of the hunt. So we decided to get it done. We could see the, the weather front rolling in and here it is. So I'm really thankful everything played out the way it did. Uh, it's foggy. We have probably 80 to 100 yards of visibility, if that, where the goats are right now. So it's supposed to be like that the next few days. I'm just super grateful everyone's here and we're all loaded up and it's go time. Time to get out of here. Now for the fun part. 360. 360. <laughs> Get a nice funnel. <laughs>